Hey y'all, today we are setting up our daily planner and I just use a cheap notebook for this. So um, what I do, I use mine vertically and the great thing about using a cheap notebook is you can kind of like scribble. I kind of feel like more free to be a little bit messier if I need to be and just jot down whatever it is that I need to get done. So that has been working great for me for a really long time. I was actually thinking about this and um, also I'm doing the weekly home blessing hour. That's like the fly lady thing that I do. Um, but I was thinking about this and I have been doing this type of planning for a really, really long time. <laughs> it is probably like one of the hobbies that I have stuck with for the longest, I think that's supposed to be the fourth, isn't it? Yes. For the longest, I it's really crazy that <laughs> I have stuck with it so long. And I have just uh, worked with this uh, method for a long time through lots of trial and error and figured out things that work great for me. And this, I have figured out <laughs> with all my trial and error that uh, vertical works great for me. But if you're a person that you like the horizontal, you can always uh, just make your planner that way. That's the great thing about just using a cheap notebook is you can make this customizable to work for whatever it is that works well for you. And another thing that I figured out that works really well for me is I tried to do the calendar in my monthly planner. I also have that video out. I tried to do that a long time ago and figured out that that does not work well for me. So I figured out that I need like a month at a glance here at the top. That's what I put here. And that's where I'll write like any appointments, birthdays, anniversaries, even like whenever I need to send cards out because for us, I don't know why the mail seems to be even slower than what it used to be um and then like other things we do is like if we need to renew prescriptions um also I've got into reading again so if there's any like book releases and also any shows that we want to watch I also put that in here um other th things that I like just do normally um I add that in here too so I um every every the second of every month that's like the day I've designated to pay all of the bills and then on the third I like to put our orders in um, I generally try and do like one big Amazon order if we need to uh, in a month that way I'm not like buying a, a bunch of stuff that I probably don't need it's always things that I definitely for sure need and it's just not like just because I seen something on Instagram or something not that I do that very much but sometimes you can get sucked into things like that and then on the sixth I always take my measurements I try and exercise and it's kind of nice to make sure that it's actually doing what it's supposed to um also on the seventh I need to be sure and take the trash out and I also put on here to reschedule and that helps me remember um, at the next month, next week, like I always do this on a Sunday, it helps me remember that I need to add it on to the following week. Um, let's see here. And then I think on the 10th, I have that uh, Yellowstone is coming out. And uh, that is going to be on Paramount Plus, I believe, or the Paramount Network, something like that. I have to decide what we're going to do for our streaming service. We usually do like one a month. <laughs> we may splurge and do two because there's several shows that we really want to watch. Or we'll wait till like uh, the show's like over and that way we can watch the full season. But um, yeah, we're thinking of doing that. Um, and then on the 16th, my vinegar is done. I have a video showing how I make our own homemade vinegar. It's super simple and easy, and it's just a fun little project that I like to do. Um, on the 22nd, that is when Outlander comes out. And I believe that's on Stars. And I seen on Facebook that they have like a deal where you can get it really cheap for like several months. So I may just do that. And sadly, that's going to be the last season of that. I'm so sad about that. But I have yet to read the books. Um, so I'm thinking I might do that <laughs> to try and help me because I'm really sad about that. I've really liked that show for a long time. Um, the 28th is Thanksgiving. So I'm going to write that down and then um let's see on the 30th this is the day that i do my review and reflection 
whoop, let's write it here. Okay, there we go. So review and reflection. And then also, like I was saying, since I got into reading again, um, I don't like buy the books or anything. And what I do is I just listen to audiobooks. I used to do a lot of more uh, ebooks, but it, I just found that I get a lot more done if I just do audiobooks. So um, also we have Hoopla. This is through the library and we can get like three books for the month. So um, I don't want to lose that. So I want to be sure and get three books because the way ours is, is there are some books you can get on like the, the library app, like the Libby app, and then some on Hoopla. So I do that and that's a great way to have a hobby <laughs> and it not cost a lot because you can just use the library. So that works out great for me. Another thing I do at the top of this page is where I write like the things or the little projects that I need to get done for the week. So the first thing I need to do is make bread flour and I have a video showing how to do that using only two ingredients where I'm at is super expensive and we already had everything that we needed for it so I started making it and it works great. It makes wonderful yummy bread. Um, other things I need to do is biscuits. I usually make a big batch of that and uh, this is our southern fluffy biscuits. I also have a video on that if you'd like to check that out but they are great. Um, I What I do is I just make them and then I will put them in the freezer and that's like our little convenient side dish to make dinners even easier. So I do that. I usually do like two batches and it works out great for us. Another thing I need to do is zone cleaning. Um, so uh, what I'm hoping <laughs> in October, I have not quite got to it yet. I'm hoping I'll be able to, but I'm hoping to do my living room in uh, October and then in November, since Thanksgiving's coming and <laughs> all the holidays, <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get my kitchen zone cleaned. This is basically where you do a deep clean. That, um, I really, really would like to do that. I generally only do that like once a year. Um, in the spring, I'm so busy with the garden. I don't do much spring cleaning or anything like that. If you hear little noises, I got the grand fur baby here. <laughs> he's a little bit upset because he's just left with me and I'm just the spare human. So <laughs> we're doing the best that we can here. He's doing very, very good and being a very good, helpful helper, helper at the moment. <laughs> Um, other things I need to remember is to exercise. Um, let's see. I cannot spell. <laughs> okay, so exercise and then uh, other things, like I said, my kind of little hobby that I've started back up is audiobooks. That has been so nice to have something to listen to whenever I'm doing dishes. We don't have a dishwasher. I am the dishwasher. So it has been really nice to have that to listen to. Um, while I'm doing that, it's not nearly as boring. <laughs> um, also, uh, I have one physical book that I, or why can I not spell? I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> Um, I have a physical book that I have wanted to finish. It was like a quote book from like a homesteader that I really thought I would like. And it's not the best. I just need to finish it and probably donate it. It's not as good as what I thought it would be. So I need, need would like to do that this month. Um, and then something else. This is going to be a really really big project and I'm still unsure exactly how to do this. Um, I need to work on my photo organization. Um, this is like digital uh, pictures and also whenever I was looking at pictures I realized that there are some pictures like from our wedding and our honeymoon that I don't even have digitized so I'm also gonna have to work on that that was like a long time ago <laughs> so I need to work on this and uh, I had I was asking for like suggestions of what to do especially for like my kids I was thinking to like be sure and put their name on the file or of whoever's in the picture and it would just be easier to look it up um, my husband's mother unfortunately had recently passed away and someone had pictures and that's the way they had it and I thought that would be really good <laughs> and easy to look up and be able to find the pictures quickly um I do that and then also as uh, someone else suggested to do each year in a folder I actually do that and I also have a folder where I uh, have like our best of the best <laughs> is what I call it like the favorite 
pictures I have all that there together in one folder as well and that's the one I'm basically pretty much going to work on organizing all the others <laughs> you know we can just go through if we need but like the favorites we need to get sorted and get like renamed and everything so if y'all have any suggestions of how to do that I would appreciate that in the comments if you'd leave that down below because I would hate to go <laughs> and do all of this work just to figure out that oh this would have been so much better if I just would have done this so if y'all have any suggestions, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, other things that I would like to do is I had got a mushroom kit for my birthday. Oh, why can I not spell today? <laughs> Oh my goodness. See, and then another good thing about the notebook is if you're not a perfectionist like me, you could always just rip this out or <laughs> use white out, whatever. It's it's like no big deal, at least for me. <laughs> so um, I got a mushroom kit, so I would like to do that. I would like to grow the mushrooms, and I thought that would probably be good to do since the garden's kind of <laughs> going to be done anyways. And I'd still be growing something. Um, Speaking of the garden, I need to work on the garden cleanup. Last year, and I know it's probably better to do this, last year I kind of left everything all winter until the spring, and I know it's better to do that, but for me in the winter time, I kind of struggle with in the winter time anyways. I kind of, especially like whenever I look out my window and I see the garden all brown and everything. So I, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get everything tore out so it's kind of more of a blank slate and I don't know it just doesn't look so sad <laughs> and dreary so I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on that hopefully I'll get that done this month another thing I need to do is my pea seeds I just threw all of it in a bucket and said I will deal with it later <laughs> it is a whole lot later but I know it's something I really really need to work on and also I want to go around and collect uh, a bunch of seeds like from my flowers um, I've got like hibiscus and perennial sunflowers I'm trying to remember what else I have I know I've got a whole bunch of other things that I was thinking of doing like yarrow all kinds of things like that and I want to spread them out at like the fence and just like broadcast them out not just kind of plant them willy-nilly I guess and see what happens I like to do little experiments like that and just see what happens so that's what I do there. Um, th I do like my month at a glance and my week at a glance and that really helps me. Now uh, the next thing I do is I go through and fill in the days that I know I for sure need to do something. So like on the second I need to pay the bills and then um, on the third that's the day that we put our orders in and let's see on the sixth that's the day we do the measurements. And I think that's everything for this week. So that will be good. And then I'll just fill in the rest of this week on Sunday, the rest of the days of the week. Um, I usually do this on Sunday, but I was trying to get a video so y'all have that and have everything sorted for November. If I can help someone, that would be great. That's kind of what I hope to do. Oh yeah, on the 7th, we've got a uh, trash out and reschedule. I also put that here too, because sometimes I just glance at things. See, this is like my main issue. <laughs> I just glance over things. So I sometimes put them in multiple places and that helps me a lot too. So I'll, whenever I actually do it, I'll have, I'll cross that out. And then on Sunday, I'll see that the reschedule's there and I'll know to add that on to the next week. Okay, so that's everything for our month at a glance. Now I come to like the things that I need to get done for the week. And I just kind of break that up so like everything doesn't fall on the same day because honestly I don't think I could get everything done anyways. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put the bread flour here because we are almost out of that. Uh, let's see, I think we'll go ahead and put the biscuits on the ne next day. Um, let's see I don't think I can do the zone cleaning on Sunday because um, that is whenever I do my weekly home blessing hour I'll talk more about that I guess we can just go ahead and talk about that right now um, what I do it's like my version of the fly ladies weekly home blessing hour it's basically um, where I reset our physical space and uh, the main things I do is I go around and dust and I wash all the bedding and throws and let's see what do we do after that um I clean the bar and the TV and then I water all the plants 
I have them on the bar. So <laughs> these all kind of go together. I move all the plants and uh, get the bar cleaned and then have to move them all back. Um, and then since I'm right there next to the kitchen, um, I move on and clean the dish rack. Again, like I said, I'm the dishwasher, <laughs> so I make sure and clean that and I get fresh towels that go under there. I have to have a couple towels because we cook a lot and do a lot of from scratch cooking and that uses a lot of dishes. <laughs> um, let's see, other things I do is I make our shine juice. I have a video showing how to make this using, I think it's only, yeah, three ingredients and it is super easy and it is the best window cleaner that I have found yet and I love it so much. So um, I make that and then also I make another cleaner. I need to share that too. Um, hopefully we'll get to that this winter or for too long. Uh, the other cleaner that I really, really like. Um, then the next thing I do is our bathroom. I clean that and add toilet paper. Then I uh, refill any of the bottles. Um, also, I refill any of the soap. We just use bar soap. And uh, also I clean the soap savers. Um, we have those, we get those at the Dollar Tree and they really do make a big difference in making your bar soap last longer, but they need to be cleaned. Like I, I do it every week, so I do that. Um, then I vacuum and clean the air conditioning filter. We may not be having to run that quite as much. I'm hopeful anyways, but usually we do still have to run it here and there. Our weather's crazy, it seems. <laughs> like one day we will have the heater on and then the next it's the air conditioner. But I just kind of keep it on rotation and unless if it's like a really cold spell, I do that every week unless if it's like where we're not running it at all. Um, and then after that, I mop. And then uh, while all this is going, why I put this on the bottom, I don't know. But while this is going, um, I like to update the computer and get all of that done. Um, so I have that running in the background while I'm getting everything else done. And then uh, I do my other reset. This is basically where at the end of the day where I sit down and like work in my planner. I figure out the recipes um, that I would like to make. Uh, get a grocery list going, uh, shop. Uh, this m probably isn't going to happen on the same day. It just depends if we uh, do grocery pickup. Um, I usually will do that on Sunday, but if I don't, <laughs> it's like a lot, so I don't do that. I'll just go in and pick it up one day through the week. Um, I like to move all of the files to the hard drive. Um, what else? I also move any tasks that um, I didn't get done from this week on to the following week. So like say if I didn't get to the bread flour that will get put on to the next week. Um, I make sure I get to all the emails. Then uh, I have some idea for the videos for the week and I just abbreviate here. <laughs> and let's see after that uh, I write a few reoccurring tasks that I have still uh, not figured out how to make that simpler yet. So that's what I do there. And so that's everything for the weekly home blessing hour. Now we'll continue on here with the things that we need to get done. Um, so I think on Monday, I'm going to put finish that book. I think that would be good. It's not a horrible, uh, huge amount, I guess that I need to finish. So I think I would like to do that. Um, on Tuesday, I think we will try and grow the mushrooms. I think that would be fun. I'm really excited about that. And, um, let's see. On Wednesday, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I could, I'm just going to... I'll probably do a lot of work on the photo organizing, but I'm just going to kind of leave that blank because that's like something that's going to be a multi-day project. And also with the gardening, also, yeah, you know what? I can put the pea seeds, but I'm probably going to do that on Thursday. So let's just put the pea seeds here and we'll do that Thursday. And maybe we'll do, um, I'll put here on to do the flower seeds. Um, and then I'll do collect and spread 
we'll spread them at the fence and see what comes up. I thought that would be fun to do. So I think that's good. And then for the garden cleanup, that kind of all depends on the weather. <laughs> so I'm not going to like put that in. I guess the other depends on the weather too. <laughs> the, the flower seeds and all that. I need to be sure and do that before we get rain. But we are in a severe drought right now. <laughs> so I don't, there is like no rain in the forecast and we are super, super dry under a high wildfire danger and everything <laughs> so um i guess that, that now would be a really good time to do that so i may may should have moved that further up but hopefully we'll be able to get to that okay so after that um what i do is i write down to do my morning routine um my afternoon routine our dinner and I usually like have some type of idea of what we're gonna do for dinner early in the morning um actually I can go ahead do I want to I guess we'll show that where did I put that okay so um what I do um I was I'll just go ahead and, if you don't mind I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and finish this because I am so sidetracked I will just completely forget that I did this so I just go through and do this on every day this just helps me um I was struggling with my morning routine because there were a lot of things that got added on that I wasn't used to do to doing like in the morning and just new things that had got added on and I was struggling to remember how to do that so I came up with a little kind of cheat sheet for me because I am all about efficiency <laughs> and uh, I did not want to have to write everything um, all the time. This is why I kind of just abbreviate and I just try and make it as efficient and easy as possible. Um, so I made myself a little cheat sheet that I will show you in just a minute. But my afternoon routine and my evening routine, I am generally really good with. Um, there's not, I don't know, it's just simple enough and I guess I haven't added anything new so it's not that hard for me. So I'm really good with that. Um, but the morning routine I was struggling with. So we'll just finish putting that here. This is just what works for me. And um, if you're like trying to build a, a routine yourself, you know, you could just list everything out or you can uh, do this other idea like I'm about to show and uh, try that and see if that would work. Um, sometimes whenever you're starting a new habit though, it's best just to go ahead and write it out because it's like another reminder that you you need to do it um, if it's like something completely new that you're trying so uh, if I can get to it there we go um, what I do is I made a flip out here that uh, has my morning routine on it and whenever I do something instead of having to write all of this out I just use little check marks like this to let me know that that's what that I done it and I don't have that on this day so what I do is I make a little column here that acts as like a checkbox and that has been working great for me so um, I go through here and do that on all these days and we'll go ahead and draw the lines here for a few more it really doesn't take long and the great thing about this is you can just customize it to whatever works best for you and this has been working really really well for me um something else I'm going to go ahead and do is there are a few things that I'm going to add now I may or may these I don't always get this done in the morning honestly the evening routine is more whenever I do this but I thought it might be good just to put it on here to try and help me remember um, our audiobook um, I'm gonna write that down and then also I'm uh, trying to work on eating beans every day so I'm gonna put that there and that way I can just do a little check mark there whenever um, I get that done but that has been working great for me um, and that has really been a game changer and a time saver that is for sure so I think that's everything there um, I was going to show oh also um, whenever I was talking about Thanksgiving I forgot to mention that last year I did videos um, in my planner of how I like prep for Thanksgiving if you'd like to check that out that's in my Thanksgiving playlist I've also got like recipes there I shared all kinds of stuff last year if you'd like to check that out but that 
if especially if you are hosting that is super super helpful to break it down and if you're having to make a lot of things lots of desserts and sides and all the things it makes it a lot easier to try and break things up and create a timeline I go over all of that and that is super super helpful but I was going to show too what I do um, after the month at a glance uh, since we already wrote all of these things down um, I just write the things that we still have left and this works great too because if uh, there is new appointments that get made <laughs> it seems like there is a new appointment every week for us anyways uh, you can write them here and just add them in and it just kind of all flows I guess <laughs> at least for me that works really really well that way and that has been working great let's see also I seen uh, yeah that uh, another show is coming out I'm not 100% sure that it is so I'm not gonna write it down because I need to do more research I just heard <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure I need to research and see if it's actually uh, coming out but this has been working great and again I have that Thanksgiving playlist if you'd like to check that out and then on the 30th I do my review and reflection this is in my monthly planner I set that page up and also need to remember to do the hoopla books and that's what I do there so on uh, Sunday whenever I sit down for this week if there's anything else I'll add that in and then I'll put my new things that I need to do for the week or if there's anything else that comes up basically so that's that's what I do this is like a great way to make a planner and you don't have to worry about being messy or whatever because it's just a cheap little notebook it works great but I think that's everything this is kind of how I set up my dailies um, you can also check out my monthly videos I also uh, do a video where I share our um, meal ideas uh, I do that and also my garden planting calendar I also do that every month as well too so thank y'all all so much for watching I hope you'll have a wonderful November and a wonderful Thanksgiving and <laughs> don't forget another thing to not forget is if you like to shop uh, Black Friday too so y'all stay safe <laughs> y'all are out there shopping on Black Friday so y'all take care and we'll see you next time bye